Will, why does it smell like strange herbs in here? Well, Wes, I've got a little bit of a cold coming on, so I've got uh, this herby tea that's supposed to make me feel better, so hopefully it will, and it's kind of disgusting and kind of delicious in the same time, kind of a weird way. So it's sick, definitely sick tea. It's definitely sick tea. It's tea for if you're sick and you're trying to feel better, which is on topic because we've realized, finally, we have a bug in Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, so when you say finally, this probably would have been obvious to uh, experienced Dwarf Fortress players. It was, it was somewhat obvious to you. It wasn't obvious to me because I didn't understand that migrants are supposed to show up in your world like really the first year, yeah, right? After yeah, the first you're year, supposed to get some pretty much right away. Show up. Which, so I thought that was weird. You know, I thought maybe it had to do with all the, the elves. When we got our first caravan, there was all this news about... Um, elves killing a lot yeah. of people. And so it was like, oh, maybe there's something going on. Maybe it's because it's the new game. It was, you know, only the second time I'd played since the update. So. And we also mentioned last episode, we thought maybe it could have had something to do with wealth. Like we were just yeah. too poor. And we Even made a lot we of wealth. we weren't that poor, yeah. we made a lot of wealth. We, but you we, started doing some research yeah. and you discovered that in the version of Dwarf Fortress we're running, which is a, a newer the newest version, version. Yeah. Uh, there is basically a line of code in yeah. the game where they're supposed to be that says, what is your max population cap? Yeah. It's 200 dwarves or something. Oh, God. Oh, auto updated. iTunes. Yep. So. And that wasn't in the code for our game. Because we were using the. Um, the starter, the starter pack. pack the and dwarf starter one pack. reason it took us so long to figure this out is the starter pack actually shows you the population limit in this GUI graphical user interface. So we thought, oh, it's it's set to 200, right? There can't be anything wrong. Yep. So and look, there's a new version. We figured so, that was yeah. fine, but it turns out population that line of code 200. is actually not in our game file. And when the game doesn't see that line of code, it assumes your max population limit is zero and will not give you any migrants. Right, right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go fix that and hopefully, cross our fingers, get some migrants. So we're you looked up to, how to fix this. It's actually, yeah. it's actually pretty simple, right? It's pretty simple. It's one, it's one line of code. Um, all the game uh, data is uh, TXT files. So go into D in it. Otherwise known as text files. Well, you know, I like to use the abbreviation. I just so, said GUI instead of GUI, so I can't really, <laughs> can't really So I'm complain. gonna go down to the bottom and um, type in strict population cap, which actually I've copied, so I can just control. Nice. The, we're gonna do 200. Um, so without that line of code there, it just assumes It assumes zero. zero so you're not gonna get any more. Um, I'm not sure if your dwarves can still get pregnant without it. Uh, probably possibly. not. I'm not sure whether that uh, Seems whether like that the game probably would have happened at that. this point. Yeah. You know. at, at least somebody would have. Um, would have given I don't, I don't even shot, know if right? any of our dwarves are in relationships at this point. But, I don't think they are. Yeah. But Maybe because they're like, man, we are way over our population cap. I'm not even going to think about. <laughs> I wonder if they're not even allowed to be in relationships. Yeah, it, it might all be it. tied into this. So. so this number can be, I guess, whatever you want. I don't yeah. know how high it can go exactly. Yeah. The higher it is, the more CPU intensive Dwarf Fortress will eventually become if you actually have that many right, dwarves. Right, right. If you were to have 2,000 dwarves, yeah. But you'd have to be playing for a while um, and not run into any fun. Um, so, <laughs> AKA being destroyed. Right. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Let's, um, so that's all, really we're not all we have to that. do. Save, Save this. And fingers crossed yeah. when we play. Actually, let's relaunch this. Just, just to be extra safe. And fingers crossed when we play, we will get some migrants sometime in this next, in this episode. Yeah. Let's do it. So we might actually need to mute the volume. I don't know if we have audio in, in the game right now. We've been using our own music to make sure that the sound balance is good. Let's jump into Ilralam. It's 
So last episode, we set a lot of crafting and digging, I think, in motion. Maybe not a ton more digging, but definitely some more crafting yep. and like jewel making and crusting. Yeah, we were doing a lot of gold smelting. We, um, we basically doubled our uh, wealth in the span of 20 minutes, 20 <laughs> yeah. minutes or so. We, we made Just a lot by of- really focusing on that A lot of riches. Uh -oh. And we still have our wall way up on the surface here. Or zoomed in pretty far. Zoom out a little bit. And I think you're you're up a level. I go up a level too yeah. far. Whoop, I'm going way too Story far. of our lives. So there's our wall. It's getting pretty close to finished. Yep. And I'm just going to let the game run right now. We only got one. We have no idlers at the moment. Everybody's doing something. Yeah. And we really just want a couple seasons to pass to see if we get some migrants to yeah, come. Yeah, so in, hopefully that'll happen. In the fall, right, is when they'll show up? Uh, it can happen, I believe, any season. But what what season are we in, even? Z? Check. Did you pull that? No, Z doesn't. Uh, late winter. Oh, where yeah. does it say that? Uh, up in the top here. Oh, cool. 14th Obsidian, What I wanted to do was to pull up the announcements, which is A. Right, and then Z. you can look and see what the, the most recent season But that was season actually better. So. Yeah. So something we'll want to do is uh, build another bridge also, our draw bridge. Right. It really just is a bridge. <laughs> but So for now, I think I'm going to not set any more tasks in motion just because that will involve pausing. Yeah. Going we should menus. just, if, if the idlers gets up to like three or if so. Every, we'll, if everybody's sitting around doing yeah. dick all, then yeah, we can give some new orders. But go build that wall. Maybe if we get some migrants, we'll get some like uh, medical miracle worker who can bring Ashtash out of back the, from the edge, back from the coma that yeah she's been in for. It's crazy. Three He's years actually now. having this dream of two nerds sitting in a room with the LPC playing Dwarf Fortress. If he wakes up, does that mean the series is over? What does that mean? Our lives are over. Maybe we're so just we we're all Ashtash's great dreams. I am Ashtesh's raging bile ducts. <laughs> so dwarves doing stuff. The dogs have been still following Sibrek around as he as he hauls stuff because yep. he trained them. Exciting times for dogs. Not so exciting for us, but if you felt like the series has been lagging for a while, it has been a little bit for us just because we've we've still been learning, at least I've still been learning things. We really haven't accomplished everything we want to in terms of getting a military trained. Um, well, and a lot of that is because... Finding a lot of materials to mine, etc. But we've really been limited by only having six dwarves able to do things at any one right. time. Right, this one is out for the count. So it has, has felt pretty slow for the past few episodes, but hopefully when we get some migrants, that'll really change things Start up. Start stirring things up a little bit. It'll definitely a little more military. give me more to learn about the game mm -hmm. and to understand in terms of micromanaging or macromanaging right. the dwarves. And... Speaking of which, we're we're not actually running Dwarf Therapist right now, but we can always turn it on this episode if uh, if we feel like it. Yeah, we've used it the last couple episodes, although I don't, we haven't been switching yeah. back and forth a lot, just because we have been at a point with our relatively small cast of dwarves that we didn't really need to have door therapists going right. that much because we're just like okay we set so and so to be a jeweler and they're that's just what we're going to do this episode right and, so and, hopefully i mean hopefully when we get some more dwarves they'll have some when you get migrants they come with uh some skills some skills yep oh spring has arrived is it time for migrants in the spring we're saving. Come on, LPC. There we go. It's got that auto save. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. We actually back up our game files also in case something goes horribly wrong, which is. Which doesn't necessarily in, mean we would. Oh yeah, no, no, no. By horribly wrong, I mean like our microphones, you know, catch fire or something. If anything goes horribly wrong in the game, if we catch fire, yeah. we want to have that save file preserved. Yeah. So someone else can pick up the torch. Yeah. No, that wouldn't happen. Nobody else would pick up the torch. You mean, or we wouldn't catch fire? The torch part. Oh, okay. We could definitely catch on fire. Yeah, it's happened. Spontaneous combustion is a real thing. 
or if we were to, you know, contract Ebola, or is that too soon? All that. With all that marble, all that, that marble. flux stone. I don't even see marble, I see flux. Um, we just need some, some iron. We did buy a piece of iron ore. <laughs> we or, bought one, or, right? Or yeah, two, a couple. Maybe. I think we got a piece of iron and a piece of um, pig iron, which we can smelt together to make with flux steel. 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 We want some steel stuff. Yeah. Look at those puppies. We have so many puppies. We got more puppies than dwarves. That might almost We have more be dogs true. than dwarves. We have for more sure. dogs than dwarves. We have four idlers now. Yeah, let's let's get them. Come on, boys. Crack the whip, Wes. That will mean going into a menu. Alright. Yeah. Oh, well, only two people have no job. Ashtesh is resting. Yep. Have... So he went down to two eyes okay. in that, oh, that's in that minute. Yeah. They're finding things to do. So for you as a player, what what's this been like? I mean, have you... I feel like the first probably ten episodes up yeah. through... So I think episode eight was when we had our big combat encounter with the, with the elves. And then after that, we were kind of learning about I, w I was learning about medical stuff, how to try to save them. Um, oh, there's a party. Another party. Yeah. I think after probably episode 10 or 11 or so, which was about six episodes back, mm -hmm. I feel like that's when I mostly stopped learning new things. And I mostly remembered the commands for going into various menus right. and like where, where that things stuff was are. Yeah. I mean, it's always, it's really easy to forget because there are right. so many. But like, I, I mostly... The zones are different from stockpiles. Exactly. And neither of those are in the building menu. But and... I mostly got that stuff, and I feel like the past few episodes have been kind of just... More puppies! <laughs> Not to interrupt, but we just got more puppies. I've been repeating those tasks and learning a bit more about what kind of stone we need for this and kind of figuring out, okay, we want to make these kind of goods and that you know they're more valuable when we encross them with jewels and these are the kind of jewels right. to cut and that kind of stuff but i feel like yeah i mostly have stopped learning new systems you know in the past few episodes right and we've just been kind of coasting on what we knew so i'm hoping that when, once we have more dwarves there'll be a lot of that to right, start branching out you with. can kind of think of it in terms of the different industries that the dwarves are uh taking part in um and we don't really, we, we sort of dabbled in a fishing industry, but we haven't really gotten into, you know, fishing that much. And we don't have a dedicated fish cleaner. One of our um, puppies just grew up. Yeah. Um, you know, potentially you could have somebody catching, you know, pond turtles and then somebody else making crafts out of the pond turtle shell. You know, so that's, that's an example of a very small industry. But then something like the clothing industry, um, we haven't even touched. You know, There's a clothing industry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you can have somebody um, spinning um, wool into thread. Somebody else um, making cloth. Somebody else dyeing. Um, and by dyeing, I don't mean like Aztec. Correct. I mean like <laughs> coloring. As in um, colored dye. So you have somebody making dye, and then you can have somebody else actually doing the dyeing. Um, Speaking of the other kind of dying, clothes. why yeah. is this elf still alive? He's in... he's chilling. He's caged. Yeah, he's been in a cage for like four years. Why is he not dead? Okay, it's been like two years. Are we feeding him? We might be. We better. We might not be, be feeding him as a prisoner. I don't think. We, I don't, I don't think want to feed they him. They do. Yeah. Does he just not need to eat? Does he just? He feeds on the dwarf. And I guess fear. elves are immortal. You're going by the Tolkien, <laughs> the Tolkien, uh, Tolkien lore. Yeah, the Tolkien canon. I don't know if this the OG. -R -R. I don't know what the canon is for Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, but I bet the Dwarfopedia or whatever it's called is uh, full of that kind of knowledge. The origins of the dwarves. I bet. I bet community forums are actually where you would go for it. Yeah, that's I bet. I bet most of it's uh, community created lore. Tarn hasn't passed down a commandment about the the origins of the dwarf species, and 
I wonder if you can find it kind of peppered through the game. You know, I mean, there's Legends mode, which lets you look at the um, sort of world gen uh, history of your of your world, which is pretty mm. cool. We should we should check that out sometime. Um, but that's that's one of the three modes of Dwarf Fortress: Adventure mode, Dwarf Fortress mode, which is what we're playing, of course, and uh, Legends mode, which is pretty cool. But um, that's all you know about your specific world. It's not about you know general. Yeah, Dwarf lore. Fortress as a yeah as an institution. Mm -hmm. Spring's got to be just about over. Well, you can check now. We discovered. You can actually see when in spring we are. Mid-spring. Mid spring. Okay, we got a ways yeah. to go then. So, have you played um, the uh, Double Fine Space Station DF9? Space Space DF9? Yeah. I haven't played it. I've watched some video of it. I'm familiar with it. Uh, it's kind of a Dwarf Fortress light. Right. Like, right. But in space. And, but in space. And 3D. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. They actually stopped development on it though, which is... Oh moment. really? They just... Yeah. I think they've either put out a 1.0 version or they're... Yeah, they put out a 1.0 uh, and did basically wrapped up development. Yeah. Which is a shame because I know they kind of wanted it to be a project that they kept developing in perpetuity in the style of Dwarf Fortress, keep adding features. And right. I think the version that they released ended up having significantly fewer features than they hoped that Sibrick was going to have. being completely mobbed by the dogs. The dogs really liked Sibrick. Yeah, they were on top of him. He was just gone under a pack of puppies. So I know some people were, were upset when they released the 1.0 of the game because it didn't have a lot of features they right. said they wanted to put in. But those weren't features that they ever said, yes, absolutely, this is what this, this is gonna game is going to be. Yeah. It, like a lot of projects that go through early access or Kickstarter, they'll say, you know, these are our, this is our vision for the game. This is what we want. In some cases, that vision turns out to be not actually the best, you know, is not going to make the best game. I think in the case of Space Base, it was just more, I put the game out on early access. It had a, a you know, an initial influx of money and people who were interested in right. it. And then after that, it just, you know, got buried with early ac other ac access games or whatever, stopped making money. Right. And once no one was buying it and they they tried to put it on sale a few times and, you know, just didn't, wasn't bringing any money in. And so they were just losing money, developing it constantly. And that was kind of the, that was the point at which they said, okay, we have to kind of finish this to a certain specification and release it. So I keep seeing Irvod come down and move our RAM. Like he, he'll, I have noticed that. He'll he'll come out, move the RAM, the RAM will move, he'll come back out and move the RAM again. So he's just trying to see what he's doing. But right now, it's just saying no job. Could change his... He might have a job on for like doing something with animals. Yeah, Wait, I, bet, I bet he's... Oops. So I think the zone... This guy's zone is in the middle of mm. uh, the wall, and maybe, maybe we that's what he's doing. Move that zone. Yeah, we could move them inside. Inside. Yeah. Punch. Yeah. Right, let's do that. I guess cool. I'll do it. Yeah, you do it. You're uh, the driver. So I need to remove the zone. Yep. And then make a new zone. Yep. With I. Couldn't remember if I could yeah. do it from that menu. I guess I could have. Let's go. Let's go up here. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, and then just assign them to it. Let's see. Is it... It's N, right? Yep. N pasture, capital N. Yep, there's a Billy Some goat down there. Billy goat. Oop. Cool. We might as well move the other one inside, too. Yeah, let's do that. X. X. Oh wait, that was also removed. Okay. And then oh, let's go right still here. On the... Okay, there you go. Cool. I liked that quick N capital N. That Bam. Was... Efficiency. Yeah. I don't I don't ooh. <gasps> it's a migrants! Migrants! 
fuck yes. So, where are you at? Is this them? They're, yeah, they're, they're flowing in. Hell yes. <laughs> So I'm allergic to migrants. They're up a, a hill, I guess, above us right now. They're coming down. Yeah, let's uh, go down into the fort and we can see them going through the main entry. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, there they go. They're coming in. Migrants. It looks like they, oh, they're bringing some. We got Holy 18 moly. idlers. Yeah. 16 idlers. Yeah. Holy crap. I thought we were. When gonna, it rains, it pours. I thought we were going to get like seven dwarves, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, because usually the first migrant wave. It's just, oh my goodness, we're making up for lost time. Well, what? That... <laughs> okay, this is this is awesome. That dwarf had a giant beard. Yeah. Holy, Holy moly. Okay, we're gonna need to make some new bedrooms. Are these all baby kids? Are those or kids? Something? That might be the graphic if, mod. If all our dwarves are children. Yeah, we have a bunch of children. That's cool. We can't make them work. Yeah, but eventually they're they're gonna we get to mold them from. Oh, I from like their that. Youth. I like that. <laughs> They're gonna learn our ways. Man, we got a lot of Jordan um, children. Yeah, let's look at our list. Dusim, Rakust. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna pull up you here. Holy Whoa. moly! Whoa. Okay. So we got yeah. a harem of children here. Yeah. I don't think that's what you call a group of children. <laughs> I'm a, just gonna go out on a limb here. A flock. A flock works better than a harem. Mm, I like harem better. I don't know. Maybe that's inappropriate. A schoolyard. Schoolyard of children. Look at a schoolyard of children. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Look, we got 14, a 15, fishery 15, worker. 16. We got a fish cleaner. We got a clothier. We have an engraver, which is going to be great. Look, we've got a suture. Okay, you got to go look at the suture right now. That's that's who we got to check out, Moses. Right, I am so over. Moses might be about to. Uh, <laughs> His name's Moses. Part the uh, part the seas of um, All right, C, Aztec's coma. I'm gonna go to B. None of these guys will come with. Oh wait, you just disabled labor. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. So um, he's a great see. wound dresser and a great suture. Hell to the yeah, labor. Okay, I'm giving him shock cloistered. I'm giving him um, health care. Okay, just making him. Oh, so he's already got stuff enabled for what he's. Yeah, so at. they'll all. So he's... all the new people, unless they're a peasant, are going to come with skills. Awesome. And they'll be set to use those skills. So I'm going to go ahead and enable everything for cool. him on medicine, and I think I'm going to go to Ervod, who is our chief medical dwarf right now, uh, up at and, the top, and make him not our chief medical dwarf. Yeah. Because. Which is just done through the skills he has, right? Or was well, that we also have to. Do, it's a noble position, so we'll have to demote him. Uh, so is that um, through the Z? That's the through Q? actually a separate nobles. Nobles. Yeah, nobles and administrators. I don't even remember doing that. Yeah. It was so long ago. N. Yep. Okay. So Ervod, chief medical dwarf. Can I? So enter to view. Yeah. Oh wait, that's not right. Go back out. Uh, replace. There we go. It was Moses. That's yeah, an easy one to remember. Really easy one to remember. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how many dwarves we just got. Oh, it's a new day. Yeah, a new day in Irulam. Should we start? Should we fill in some of these other ones? I guess we'll uh, we don't need at, to. We'll right have to look now. at their yeah. skills first. So this might be a great time to fire up dwarf therapist. Definitely. Um, so but we can me, keep looking at real quick. Let's let me look go at Irvod while I remember and yeah. go to healthcare. And should I turn all this stuff off? I mean, you I'll could leave, leave him... diagnosis maybe. So we have two diagnosers and then leave feed and recover. Yeah. Recovering wounded? So oh, if somebody is yeah, him, yeah. wounded in the field. All right. So he is. Cool. Yeah. Let's look down our, our unit list from some more. Task. Let's just our check them out. List. So we've got. Do, do we have any, we have two, do we have two cattle? No, that's our. Oh, we do have two No, cattles. yeah, that's a new cattle. Two cattle. They're both cattle E, too. We have a new Ashtesh as nice. well. Nice, a child. We don't even need the old one anymore. Yeah. Just get, get rid well, of he them. was, this This Aztec is uh, named after the other one. So they heard they heard of the uh, bravery. Really? No, I'm just, uh, well, of course, of course, yeah. That could be, that is, does that happen at all? I don't know. I don't know. Just blew my mind. I know they, 
the if you have somebody uh, engraving walls, sometimes they'll engrave pictures of what's been going on in the fort. So that's pretty awesome. So okay, we've got two rangers. Cool. What is a ranger? I think they can do some hunting stuff. That makes sense. A um, jeweler. Like they're a mix of hunting and animal training and trapping and stuff like that. So our current, um, whoever currently has jeweling experience yeah. probably has gotten decent at this point. Yeah, done I mean, a fair amount. We can we can see how good a jeweler this is. That's something that uh, dwarf, dwarf therapists therapist can be great because it'll show us just how good they are. So we've got a cloth ear. Yep. Some fish pros here. Three yeah. Three fish pros, different fish skills. You'd think one guy could do all that. But yeah, I wonder you know, whatever. I wonder what fishery worker, I wonder how that's different from cleaner and dissector. Maybe he does both. We are going to have to vastly expand our Well, those those could be different here. types of farming. Mm. So, well, that one says planter. So we'll, maybe they are just straight up We'll look at the growers. thing. And we have two yeah. peasants to mold as we will. Yeah. One of them could be a wood burner for us, because um, that's a skillless task, a so, thankless task. And we've got our three miners here. Yeah. And thankfully, now that Irvad doesn't have to be doing chief medical dwarf stuff, or probably any of the other stuff he was doing, yeah. he can. They can just mine like crazy. Hell yeah! So dwarf therapist time, you think? Yeah. Let's check it out. Right. Let's let's take a look so at I'm who's tab skilled. Out. Okay. And then and we're gonna connect. connect. Let's make that full screen too. Bam. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a lot of dwarves. It's a lot of information. Are, is this any of the kids or is this just adults? Uh, it looks like the kids are mixed in there. Yeah, because there's, um, I think I saw the second. Like this? Like go up to the top. Yeah, there's the two Azteches. Ah, okay. Oh, you can see their their job is a big red circle. Professional child. child. I, I miss like... when that was my... <laughs> that profession. was your profession. Yeah. I wish we could kind of hide. Yeah, we filter. should be able to. Um, so yeah, group by age, maybe. Mm. So that's anyone with that in their name. So group by, you could do... Well, there are filters. Um, you could also... Uh, How do I filter? What's that ad right there? I think that'll let you... Oh, that'll add a tab. Oh, cool. And then you can close the dwarves. We don't need the four, the five, the six, or the seven-year-olds. Nine-year-olds need to stay open. Wait, I'm kidding. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, these... Okay, 10 or 19 years old. So three oh, of them... 10 through 19, got it. Oh, 10 through 19, yeah. Three of them are considered adults so okay but at least at least we got it by age that's cool um although yeah. that might not be the best way to sort this i feel like there's yeah a lot of highest skill let's do it by that highest skill great so now all the kids are we've got one peasant in here yeah but we can hide yeah let's just hide that for now that's cool. Okay, that's a little better. So, oh, we've got Ural. Is that all Ural? Is he? Our... He's our legendary miner. Yeah, he's been mining like a motherfucker. Yeah. And what that means is if he uh, goes at an enemy with a pickaxe, he's going to tear him up. Is that the case? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your mining skill, it's the only military slash civilian skill that, that carries over like that. Okay. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, so is this diamond indicate? So that's legendary. Yeah. Diamond. All right. Cool. So we've got a couple great people. Wow. So. So Moses is a great. Uh, great has some great medical skills. That's that's awesome. What is this symbol? Suturer. And then. So he's. Okay. So these squares: great suturer, great wound dresser. That's kind of all ooh, he knows how to do. Urist, our new gem person. Gem dwarf. Great gem setter great. and yeah. a great gem cutter. Which is a lot better than that's Irvad. That's all you need, right? Who, yeah. And for gems. Irvad is what? A adequate and... I think that might also be adequate, but... Wait, yeah. Dabbling. dabbling. Adequate okay. and dabbling. Yeah, you're off. Okay. What do these ones mean? Oh, oh, that's... We're look. that's the category. 
So within great, ah. there's one of each of those. Cool. Cool. So Moses, we establish great, great for these two medical skills. He yeah. doesn't really have any experience for diagnosis, surgery, or setting bones. But nobody really has experience. Yeah, Erbot has that. a tiny bit. Yeah, is a novice much. diagnoser, which we left that on. So that's cool. Uh, so we got Imush here, who is really good at something. What is Imush good at? Uh, a tracker. A great tracker. And a competent spear store. Nice. So this person could be a good military um, person. It's awesome. Military yeah. dwarf. Do we dish mob here? Great clothier. Nice. Great pacifier. Talented conversationalist, comedian, and consoler. And a lot of novice like food food skills. Yeah, which is cool. So let's. Urvod is an accomplished on. miner. He's done nice. a lot of mi mining. This is our, our Urvod. Our yeah. old Urvod, yeah. He's also got some growing experience with the farming. Nice, because we have uh, civilians allowed to farm. Sibrek is anybody. Uh, he's good at appraising shit, I guess. Proficient mechanic's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we can keep him doing mechanic stuff. Yeah, we have a new carpenter, though. Um, Do we have a better carpenter? It looks I like, think so. Looks like yeah. no. Oh, is is he equal equal footing on carpentry? Well, that's this is the that's the new Ashtash. The new Ashtash, is it? Oh no no no! The new Ashtash is a child. Yeah. This is our Ashtash. So Ashtash started out as a pretty as good a carpenter, carpenter, okay, but has been sleeping so and long. And that's why that Sibrek has, has taken up. over. Yeah. Uh, Archivish here, a great miner, some pretty good brewing skills. Yeah. Nobody else is really a, a pro brewer. But what's cattle excellent at? Farming. Nice. Yeah. So all in all, not the most talented bunch of <laughs> migrants, but we're still happy to have them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of them were kids, so they don't know how to do anything yet. Yeah. These guys. Just mouths to feed. These guys are all novices. I don't really remember what their, I guess we can see what their profession is, can't we? Farmer. Yeah. Or, so none of our farmers are like, basically none of our farmers know how to do anything. Yeah, what is uh what's the ranger have? Go hover over uh this, it's that green this one. Guy? Yeah. We'll go hover over the actual uh name, yeah. So we can get the full Ooh. breakdown. Novice marksman, animal trainer, yeah, ambusher. Uh um, novice ambusher, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. Well, those are a lot of new dwarves. We're gonna need a lot of new bedrooms. <laughs> Man, yeah. Well, maybe we should finish this episode by assigning a few new tasks and mm -hmm. then wrap it up next time, come back and start really expanding our fortress. Yeah. Let's wait. Can you go back to that? I want to look at our fish people, our fish people. Yeah. So that that I'm going to look in this blue, this blue line here, this light blue um, section is just all the we've really got so all the fish. So Tholtig and down here, Dish Mob. Sector. Yeah. So I would say we want to keep Dish Mob doing what he's really good at, which is cloth clothes making. Yep. So which we won't really be doing be for doing a while. A okay. Um, so we could have both him and Tholtig doing some fishing. Well, I wouldn't, since he has a skill that he's really good at, I wouldn't risk him outside the fort fishing, mm, but he could be good point. Um, doing some of this fish cleaning. Um, well, we've also got so, like. Tekkad here, who is pretty good at fish cleaning. At fish it's cleaning. actually better. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we'll just have him be the fish cleaner and have full, full tig. tig. We've got a whole bunch of new names to learn. Yeah. Wes. It's going to take a while. So Uvash. Yeah, cool. So yeah, yeah, great. Maybe we should get that started because now we're going to have a lot more so mouths to let's feed. Let's set full tig to fish. Which let's he will already be set to. Set Kumil, Kumil here to clean, to dissect fish. Which we won't really be doing that much of. Kumil, dissect, Uvash. Which those are clean. already set. So, so really the only thing we need to do is we want to turn off um, Thultig's other... We don't want him to be cleaning the fish. We just want him to be fishing. That's Thultig. I freaking find him. There yeah, he is. he's the blue. Because water is blue. 
So yeah, cool. And then the other person who are, who was our old dwarf who had fishing? That was not dish mob, but we do want to turn dish mobs off. So no fishing for dish mob because yeah. he's got two, his skills are too valuable. Yeah. His clothing skills. So C. Yeah. And you can actually turn off all of them because we'll have dedicated. Oops. Cool. Um, great. So that's good. So that'll happen now. Um, and then we're also going to want to, um, get them go crazy. We should just have a dedicated cook and a dedicated brewer now. Yeah. You're probably right. Yeah. We should see right, who's our get best set. Get so all our food stuff. Set. Who's our best. Is it Kivish who's been brewing well, here's, for us? Yeah. Who's brewing. Our brewer? Ooh, so Kivish is Kivish. A, also a great miner. I kind of don't yeah. want to. We do have a few. Who else is okay at brewing? So dish mob is is the next best we have. Yeah. Just a novice. And he's gonna be, you know, just waiting around when he's not clothes making. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having him learn train it learn up. Learn up his brewing. Um he's got a lot of tasks he's he's okay with though. Um It's true. I would mm. you wanna just raise up an entirely new brewer or just let Kivish keep doing it? I would say let Kivish keep doing it and maybe I don't That's know. Fine. You're you're right about the mining. That's your call. I mean, we do. We're gonna have a lot of mining, so we're gonna have to carve out a lot of new rooms. Yeah. Um, but he is the weakest of our three miners. I don't mean physically. He actually might be the strongest. Also, Kivish is a she. So yeah. Well, he is a she. I guess we can we can take Kivish off mining and put some new some new meat. Yeah. Into the mines. Yeah, maybe um, our new unskilled. Yeah, maybe one of our um, one of our peasants. Yeah, a couple of our peasants even. Well, we don't want to because I think we have three pickaxes right now. Mm. Um, so, oh, well, I guess we could make a, we could make new pickaxes. Good. We actually have metal, so. Um, oh, no, so that'd I be fine. I'm, I'm gonna let Kibish do both for. Okay, for right that's now. fine. Yeah. And what was the other thing you said? Cook? Cooking. Let's see what our, our cooking thing Here's looks cooking. like. Cattle our looks best like it's cook is cattle. Who's also good at farming. It's our only good farmer. Yeah. Um, might as well. Oh, well, I don't know. We got some, some dabblers in the cooking. Maybe I will take cattle off everything else. That he does, and just have him be farmer. Have him just on those, just farming and cooking. Okay, cool. Where are you, cattle? There you are. Who is that? The right cattle, though. Um, I think this is our new cattle. Is it? I think so. Where's the other? The other's right there? above him. Oh, there's Wait, two. Really? Right above him? Oh, three above him. Oh, I think you're right. This is it. I believe this is the other. Mm, I think this no, is the new yeah, one. Yeah, this is the new one. You're right. <laughs> their names are too similar. Can Look we at that. change their names? Yeah, we actually we can. I'm just name them like Cattle 2. <laughs> Return of Cattle. Cattle Strikes Back. Let's make his last name that. Oh wait, I'm gonna leave cooking on. Cool. And then we should, um, yeah, he doesn't need those anymore. Turn off hauling too? Um, yeah, now we've got all these people. We don't need somebody else doing all that. We should take our two um, just untrained novice peasant dwarfs. Mm -hmm. So we've got Zolban here. Where's our other peasant? I know we have one other peasant. Oh, sc scroll all this the way. peasant is a great strand extractor. So strand extracting is um, purely for pulling out, I believe it's adamantium from, uh, it's basically a very high level ore. We're talking about Wolverine? Um, we're talking about Wolverine here. 
Um, oh, and I was also looking at the wrong thing. No one is a strand extractor. No, he's I a was looking at dish maker. Clothes maker. Yeah. So this guy's a peasant, but is great at tracking. Oh, great tracker. Oh, okay. oh he's an incompetent spear dwarf. So he he was. He yeah. should be our military. Yeah. Should we make him in charge of the military? Yeah. I must shown him. So where do we go to military again? It's M. It's yep. a whole own thing. Militia commander. Oh, so that might actually be appointed with the nobles and administrators. Militia. Yeah, which is Catton right now, so we can replace Catton. Catton's about to be demoted. Uh, forgot the name already. It's Imush, I think. Yeah, and actually you can see related skills. Cool. Cool. Okay. What was the other thing I was going to set? Oh, I was going to set the, our other peasant to be a hauler, but I guess he'll have hauling on. Yeah, it should all be on. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a lot of new dwarves. We only have 17 idlers. We're going to have a lot of idlers for a while. A we should of, learn how many children we have so that we can kind of subtract That's that so we know. Um, right, yeah. Right. So next time, maybe more beds, more a bedrooms. A lot more bedrooms. Does everybody need their own bedroom? They, they're happier that way. Oh, no sharing, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, enough. we could do one big room with a bunch of bunks in it, military style, but they are happier if they have their own room with we their can, own door. We can give them their own rooms. Yeah. That's fine. Um, we'll also have to make a lot of beds, which means we'll probably have to cut down a tree or two. Um, we can do it. Yep. That's, that's very doable. We should find a couple people to um, get on wall duty. So we have some more mm. wallers. Yeah. Um, we could have someone start uh, smoothing the stone in our dining room, which will raise its uh, its value. So when they say like, uh, this dwarf saw a great dining room recently, which I think it's something <laughs> I said, it'll be like, saw a legendary dining room. Our dining room or whatever. is sweet. Yeah. Um, so we can do that. All right. Well, yeah. I'm going to say we're going to quit and save here. And by the end of next episode, we're going to have a fortress that barely resembles the one we have now. It's going to be a whole new fortress. A whole new world. Fortress. Where sun and place to be.